Listen, if you want to be popular, order this, because if you stand around with this hot dog, you're bound to get a lot of looks. I'm a single woman, you know? I need to meet a man, and I probably could find a man. Look, bam, right there. Welcome back to Stadium Meets, you guys. I know it has been a minute, so we had to come back in a very big way. And what's bigger than the Big Apple? That's right, we're here in New York City. We are covering Madison Square Garden. It is home to the New York Knicks and the New York Rangers. And not only that, they've hosted every celebrity or artist that you can think of. Beyonce's been here, the Rolling Stones have been here. You guys, even Pope Francis has been in this arena. So that can only mean one thing, right? The food has to be delicious. Well, let's go find out. Okay, so we made it to the merch store so we could get all geared up. We have an interesting episode for you guys. It's a double header. So tonight we're watching the Knicks game and tomorrow we're gonna be watching a Rangers game. So not only are we covering basketball, but we're also covering hockey, which is so dope. Two and one. So let's get geared up. Let's go. Have I ever looked this cool before? It's the shoes, yeah. Something about New York is just, I stepped into the city and I'm cooler all of a sudden. Okay, so our very first stop is going to be at the Chase Lounge. This is the lounge that you wanna be at because they have really cool installations for cool pictures, they have drinks, and most importantly, they have food. Not a lot of people know about this just yet, that's why I'm telling you guys, it's brand new this season, it's super popular, Super cool, super fun. Look how cool this is! Wait, can you take these? Oh no! They know, because somebody like me would take it and steal it. There's gotta be a loose one on here. Oh, hey, oh, oh. Bet y'all didn't know I had skills like this, huh? Oh snap. Get out of here, get out of here! Put me in, coach! Put me in! really quiet in here. I should probably stop screaming. Where did the other one come from? Oh, so I did break it. Dang, I really, oh, I'm sorry. I just got so excited. Wow. Food over here. Ooh, wow, that was nice. There's no relaxing. I feel like whiskey is like a New York drink, right? Just like whiskey on the rocks, honestly. But I have a job to do, so I probably shouldn't get that. There you go, young lady. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Cheers. In Manhattan, in Manhattan, how cheesy am I today? <sighs> Refreshing. At an empty bar by myself, I could look. I could do this, and no one's gonna say anything. How lucky am I? <clears throat> Making myself at home. It's almost game time, so let's start this food tour and let's get some food in this stomach. About to eat some food. About to eat some food. I'm hungry, and we're about to eat some food. I forget that we're actually trying food right now. I'm so excited. Why do I, I, I don't feel like I'm in like an arena. Doesn't, doesn't it feel different? I don't know, maybe it's the floors or something? Like the tile flooring? So this is my very first time at Madison Square Garden. This is the mecca of all arenas. The game is, hasn't started just yet, so there's people that are trickling in, but I have a feeling that the energy is gonna be high, it's gonna be crazy. Go, oh, 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 no! Uh oh, are we on TV for a carnival? Yes, of course we sale? are. Tell me about it. Only in New York. Yeah. In honor and memory of the beloved Willis Reed, captain of the Knicks, number 19, we return to New York to the scene of the New York Knicks championship season. Here's to Pastrami and the New York Knicks. Let's go, Knicks! Woo. Wait a minute, um, I'm sorry, have you ever been on camera before? You just delivered the most epic line ever. Well, you got to if you live in New York, yeah. right? This is my first time ever having a pastrami sandwich from here. What do I have to expect? Of course have it on rye. Of course, and you can I would only, never do it any other and way. you can only have it at the Carnegie Deli. Okay. And you must put a little bit of mustard on it. Okay. And you must tip the cook, because they do a great job. I mean, what better of an intro? Obviously, you guys were at the Carnegie Deli here. It is just known all around New York City. But the thing is, this is the only one that's open now in New York City. So if you want to get a delicious pastrami sandwich, you have to come to MSG. 
So of course, this is our very first stop of the day. He sold it. It's gotta be good. Let's try it. Do you guys see how thick this sandwich is? That is going to be one full bite. But look how beautiful she is. Look at that. Of course on rye. This has 12 ounces of meat on it, so you are getting your money's worth. Every stadium I've been to, the food has been delicious, but I feel like everything about this arena, from the, the outfit to the drink, and now like the classic pastrami sandwich, I just feel like I'm really doing New York justice. Okay, I'm gonna add just a, a tiny bit of mustard on it. All right, here we are. Just a little bit of mustard. I feel like I need both hands. Can someone all this for me? Wow, see? <laughs> it just doesn't want to be contained. Wow. His enthusiasm was not over the top. I understand why he was so passionate about this sandwich. First of all, I love that the meat is so tender, so juicy. You're tasting the fattiness and then the saltiness of the brine really balances this whole thing out. We've had a lot of pastrami sandwiches on Stadium Eats. I think the way that the meat is thinly sliced on this makes the bite so much more enjoyable. You're tasting all the flavors. The, the bread is delicious, the meat is delicious, the sandwich is like incredible. I know I have a lot of food I need to eat, but this is a once in a lifetime experience, okay? You can't get this sandwich anywhere else in New York City. You could only get it here, and I'm in New York, so I'm gonna enjoy this, and Mark, don't you yell at me for taking another bite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. must be a good sandwich. Sure is, on to the next spot. We are at our very next stop. We are at Kobayaki, which is a fresh and healthy Japanese cuisine. And I'm gonna be trying their tuna burger today. I've never had a tuna burger. Don't know exactly what to expect, but I'm excited about it. And can we just talk about their cute packaging? It's like Christmas morning. It's like, ooh, I wanna unwrap it and see what's inside. Oh. I mean, come on. This is a burger that you're going to order, and you're like, oh crap, back to the game and it's wrapped perfectly for you. Smells delicious, looks beautiful. So we have cabbage on top. Looks like we have some spicy mayo on there, spicy wasabi, the tuna patty, and there's the spicy wasabi right there. Heck yeah. What an interesting flavor. I've never had a tuna burger before. What I really love is that the wasabi's coming through but it's not like my nostrils are on fire. You know sometimes when you eat wasabi, you're like, holy crap. Also, the spicy mayo is a really nice topper with this. I love that the patty is a thick patty. I don't know what I was exactly expecting from a tuna burger, but it feels like I'm eating a healthy version of a burger, which is great. And then I love the crunchiness of the cabbage. I'm actually really shocked at this. I think it's a really great alternative if you don't want a burger, that you can have a nice healthy option and get a tuna burger. Who knew? Okay, so the game just started. People are rushing back to their seats. You can feel the energy here. It's crazy. I'm gonna eat some more food, but I can't wait to watch the game. Woo! Yeah! Energy! Woo! We're here, we're ready. They look excited. Yeah! third stop and this was not even on the list. I was walking by Top Dog and I saw this massive hot dog and I was like, there's no way that we could pass this up. I have to try it. I don't know what I need to do. Please let me try this. So last minute, they cooked one of these up for me and can we just take a moment to appreciate the beauty that this is. It is a five pounder, five pound hot dog and it is massive. I don't even know how to attack this. So it has the sriracha cheese, peppers, grilled onions, and then as you can see, fried onions on top. I know! That's so big! I mean, would you like to try it with me? Sounds good. This is the one times that teams do have, you know, um, togetherness. Unity, it's when yeah. you're eating food, right? Yeah, okay, so you get one side, I get the other. One, Three, two, two one! On the thing. I didn't get any of the ingredients. All I got was the hot dog. So I might have to go back in and get all of the ingredients. 
listen, if you want to be popular at the arena, order this because if you stand around with this hot dog, you're bound to get a lot of looks. I'm a single woman, you know? I need to meet a man, and I probably could find a man. Look, bam, right there. Come back. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, stop. Do you watch Delish? Yeah, Jackie. Yes, hi. Hi. I'm so nice to meet you. I'm sorry if I interrupted you. No, please. Do you want to be in the episode? Sure. Okay, tell me your names. I'm Sam. Sam, nice yes. to meet you. James. James, yeah. so nice to meet you. you guys watch Stadium Eat? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay, so tell me, I'm trying all the food today. Have you guys ordered anything yet? We were just about to order something, yes. so. First things first, we're gonna try this five pounder, which did you guys five even, pounds. five pounds. Did you guys know that they offered this at the stadium? No, no. I had no idea. I'm gonna let you guys do it, okay. because I don't want to put my hands all over your stuff. It's gonna prepare us for, <laughs> we're engaged. Oh my gosh, so, wait, you're cutting the cake! <laughs> Honestly, Loki, you should probably just have this at your wedding. I know, we I should. Would love it. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. See, I was secretly standing here looking for my husband, my future husband, but well, he's you. Vegan. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. This is what bring, hot dogs bring people together. We Do we get it? I know, there's so much to cut so, through. Wow. Yes! All right. Okay, well, that's half of the hot dog, yeah, which is. Section. What the heck? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! for their wedding. Okay. This looks like a crime scene. Do you see? It's just, it's just like we literally murdered this food. But we have beautiful people behind the camera that are going to enjoy this food because we don't like to be wasteful around here. So I'm going to hand this off to you all. Enjoy the food. Go ahead and pan. Pan to the people that will be eating it. Hello, 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 hello. But what did I say? I said I'm gonna stand here and have a good time and that's exactly what happened. I met a beautiful couple. Didn't meet my new boyfriend yet, but we have the rest of the day to go. All right, off to our next spot. Let's do it. Okay, so we're at our next two stops. Over here we have Avenue Cantina, and over here we have Lavo Meatballs. But I'm gonna start off with Avenue Cantina first. We have their carnitas tacos right here. But look a little closer, you guys. Come on in. These aren't your average just carnitas tacos, right? They have chicharrones on top! with salsa verde and then of course some lime. So I'm from Los Angeles, we're known for our tacos. Never have I had a taco with a chicharron on top. I almost want to take a bite of their chicharron first. Look how beautiful that is. <gasps> and how fun. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this little piece. I know sound guy hears that crunch. There was nothing like it. So delicious, but let's put it all together. So again, we have some juicy carnitas tacos. The presentation's really nice, actually. And from what I've seen in other stadiums, there hasn't been a setup like this. Like, normally they just put kind of like all their tacos in a box and they're like, wish you good luck. It's gonna get messy. Have fun. But this is really nice. It sets you up for success. You could actually eat this inside the arena and not make a huge mess out of it, which I appreciate as a messy person myself. You see that on my hand? It's juicy. The juices are flowing. That's when you know the carnitas is about to be good. Woo! That's delicious. The carnitas has like a melt in your mouth texture. You take a bite and it's just, it's gone. It's like, where did it go? I didn't even chew, it's gone. This, they keep it really simple. They put some salsa verde on top, but what I really love about this taco is because you're getting like this melt in your mouth texture. The fact that they put chicharrones on top, it just adds a really fun element to the bite because you're getting that crunchy, crispy, chicharron up there. And I've never had that. It's unique, it's one of a kind. And for me to say that the carnitas taco here in New York is delicious, being from LA, is saying something. All right, so I just tried Avenue Cantina and the great news is I didn't have to go anywhere because we have Lavo's meatballs right here. They have a Lavo in New York and they also have a Lavo in Los Angeles. It's really hard to get into the one in New York, so I've heard you have to make a reservation. It's really hard to get a reservation. So I think it's a really good option if you can't make it to the restaurant for whatever reason. Again, you could get it right here in the arena. We have premium, premium meatballs here, you guys, with whipped ricotta. Like, how delicious does that look? Yeah, that's nice. Premium. Yes. Delicious. Oh my god. Mm. So my only concern about trying this here at the stadium was that it wasn't gonna be the same quality as that you're getting in the restaurant. 
It is. You're tasting that premium Wagyu beef and the Italian and veal sausage. It is incredible. The sauce is so delicious. I love that it's ricotta on there. Like all of these together just make such an incredible bite. You could come here to the arena and get the meatballs and a game. Actually, it's kind of better if you eat it here. You don't have to just watch your neighbor eat their pasta. You can watch somebody play some basketball or hockey and get some good food. I'm happy, this is all I wanted was some good Italian food. Okay, our journey's coming to an end for day one, but we'll be back tomorrow. But our last and final stop is actually a New York staple, and it's dessert. Y'all know how much I love dessert, so we're gonna end things off on a sweet note. Let's go. We're gonna be trying Baked by Melissa, which fun fact, she's actually a friend of ours here at Delish. So I'm glad we're stopping by her spot to try her cupcakes. First of all, they're so beautiful and look how little they are, how cute. And it comes in a nice little three pack. What I appreciate about this, ready, follow me. You gotta get back to the seat, go, go. And you're, you just, you pop it in your mouth and it's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. Even if you drop them like, oh no. Guess what, they're fine, because they have great packaging. I love that she customized them for the game, so that's really cool. Um, if you want a treat that, and you want to be festive while you're here at the arena, this is the perfect way to go. Mm. I just love how festive it is. I love the NYX colors. I love that they're bite-sized. So you just bite it and go. It's really nice, it's a great treat, and it's a great option. The kids are gonna love these things. Come here, buy it for your child, they'll be so happy. All right, you guys, that's it for day one. I'm gonna take my cupcakes and the leftovers and now go watch the game. Let's go Knicks. Hi. Let's go Knicks, baby, yes sir. Uh -oh. Knicks all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for the dogs for the playoffs. What's good? Yeah. You got Knicks all the way. Wow, day one in the books, you guys. I'll be back here tomorrow for day two. More food, but that was so much fun. And that was my very first Knicks game, and I feel like I did it right. All right, um, I'm gonna head to my hotel and call it a night. Taxi! Hey. Oh. <laughs> that was hard hit. Oh. Everybody, I'm fine. Everybody, everything's good. Well, I'm gonna crawl back to my hotel room now. Like he said, slow your ass down. Did you hear him? The full New York experience, embarrassing yourself in the middle of the city. Bye. All right, you guys, we're back day two. Today we are at the Rangers game and I am in one piece. I survived that epic fall yesterday. I'm really excited about today's game because yesterday was the Knicks and the energy was insane, but the team here told me that a Rangers game is next level. I don't know if we can really top officiating a wedding over a hot dog, but fingers crossed, let's do it. Let's go get geared up. Ooh, check out the back. Did they customize this jersey for me? Yes, they did. It says delish. How cool is this? Woo! Okay, I'm ready to go eat some food. Let's go. Let's go, baby! We're back at the Chase Lounge, but we're here with the executive chef of Madison Square Garden. Everybody say hello to Russell. Hello, buddy. Russell, Madison Square Garden is huge. How many people does it actually see? For a concert, about 18,000 people. 18,000 people? What a daunting task. So I have to know, what is your favorite dish? I mean, I think overall it would be from Cantina, the carnitas you guys tried yesterday, top line. Did you see my reaction? I did. When I took a bite of those tacos? I literally went to heaven. They were so delicious. What is the most popular food item that everybody wants to order when they come here? It's chicken fingers, fries, uh, but again, you know, old world New York, Carnegie Deli. Night one was incredible, so I know night two is gonna be just as great. Um, any encouraging words for me? I think you got this. Save room for the pizza. Save room for the pizza. All right, let's go. Okay, our very first stop of the day, we are at Fuku, and the energy in here is completely different from yesterday, and it's also, the temperature is different. It is really cold in here, so I was so happy when they handed me this spicy, crispy sandwich, because it's actually warming up my hands for me, which I really appreciate. 
Foku. They actually opened up here in 2014. It's one of their longest standing uh, stands here in the arena, which I think is really cool. This is one sandwich right here. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we're working with. I'm already happy. Doesn't that just look so delightful and so beautiful? Oh, and it's warm. I mean, this bun is glowing. Look how shiny and brown and golden it is. So we have a potato roll, the spicy crispy chicken right here. We have pickles and then a spicy kimchi mayo, which looks amazing. What I love is the simplicity of this burger. There's not a lot on it. I don't think it needs it. It's just chicken pickle sauce. Let's go in for a bite. Hey, I'm, I'm Jackie, sorry. what's your name? I'm Helen, how do you Hi, do? Hi Helen, very numbers. nice to meet you. Come Please in. Oh my, Come Helen. in. <laughs> okay. I watched all your episodes, are you kidding me? My goodness. That means so much to me, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you're Love so sweet. I Look, I have, I have sauce on my hand, I don't even care because I'm meeting people that watch this episode, or watch the series and I, I'm grateful for you guys. Because I'm employed because of you guys, so thank you. <laughs> I need a job, you know? Stadium is baby! <laughs> goes nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take another bite. Wow, but hold on. Look how juicy that meat is. And that sauce, just the right amount. There's some people that are beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, they're kind of ugly, right? Not her. This was so delicious. The chicken is juicy, it's not dry. There's nothing worse than having a fried chicken sandwich and the meat's dry. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then, woo! Woo! That's how I feel about this. Let's go, crispy sandwich. Also, it's not overly, overly spicy. It just has the perfect kick to it. I love the kimchi on there. It's so nice, it adds a beautiful kick. And then the pickles breaks it all up. You get that fresh pickle, that fresh crunch. This sandwich is top notch. It's, it's really delicious. I have nothing bad to say. Day two, off to a great start. The energy's high, everybody's excited. The Rangers game is going for, yes, that's what's up. Woo, high five, yeah, go Rangers, it. yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so we're at Tao Sushi. For those of you guys that don't know, Tao Restaurant is actually here in New York and Los Angeles. It's more of a fine dining experience, so I love that you could come to the arena and experience that right here. This is brand new on their menu. It is their Poke Bowl. Normally when you come here, they have a bunch of sushi rolls, but they added this to the menu, so I'm excited that I get to try it out and introduce it to you guys. When you go into Tao the restaurant, you're getting fresh ingredients, amazing quality food, so I hope that they can replicate that same experience right here in the arena. Look at these ingredients, okay? The avocado looks super fresh, like it just came off the tree. The salmon looks amazing. We have all the incredible sauces on top and then the fresh cucumber on the side. Let's get a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's nice. Nice and fresh. The salmon's fresh. Cucumbers are fresh and crunchy. It's just beautiful. I have never been this happy on a Stadium Eats episode. Everything that I've tried has been excellent. This is so good. Again, I can't imagine coming to Arena and being like, I want a Poke Bowl, but why haven't I thought of that? Sometimes you want to be fresh and you know, you don't, you're doing all this jumping and screaming and sometimes the beer and the burgers, it weighs you down. You can be jumping and screaming all night if you eat this, because you have the energy. This is wonderful. Okay, so we're here at Polly G's, which is a very famous pizzeria. It originated in Brooklyn, and now it's here at the arena. Everybody talks about it, everybody loves it, and I might annoy you guys a little bit because on the side over here, I was learning a little bit of Italian slang, because right here, I have the mutz, which I didn't know is short for mozzarella. Did I do that right? Did that sound good? They're giving me the thumbs up. Anyway, I have the mutz here and I'm very excited to try it. I also have been reminded on how to eat the pizza. I will not eat it like LA peasant that I am. I'm going to eat it like a New Yorker and fold it in half. Oh, wow. 
That smells really good, and it looks really good. And like I said, I'm not gonna eat it like an LA peasant, okay? I'm gonna try to eat it like a New Yorker, just like that. I still don't understand this, but I'm just gonna go with it. I think I'm really having a visceral reaction, not visceral, a really great reaction. You weren't lying. That is incredible. I'm a garlic girl. What you're getting from here is the beautiful mozzarella with a very garlicky, garlicky base. It's not thick on top. It's like a very thin um, layer of the cheese. And then you're just getting the 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 bread. And it should, I, I'm at a loss for words. I'm sorry. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that. I think just every from top to bottom, everything was so delicious. Let me let me take another bite. Oh, sorry. I'm so happy right now. I love that it's a thin slice of the mozzarella and that it's a little bit of greasy, you know? If you don't have this on your plate, then it's not a good pizza. You need a little bit of the grease stain. And again, the dough, it's not, it's not crispy. It's, it's chewy and soft, which I really love. I feel like I finally had a beautiful, delicious slice of a New York pizza. And it's official, y'all. Like, I would move out to the East Coast just so that I could have this. This is, this is, this was, this was good. All right, our next stop is Simply Vegan, which will be a nice break from this cheesy pizza. But I'm not gonna depart from this just yet because I'm in love with her and I wanna eat more of it. So I'm going to eat this while we go over to Simply Vegan. Okay, so Simply Vegan is obviously a really great option if you're vegan. I went back to the basics. I've been eating poke bowls and really amazing fried chicken sandwiches. So I was like, you know what? Let me simplify everything and get some nice fries. And what I love about yes. Simply Vegan is that they give you three sides that you can choose from. Okay, so we have a malt vinegar aioli. Then we have a sweet chili mayo. And we have honey mustard. Options, we love options. It looks like they put great seasoning on there. We got some pepper, we got some salt. They're a good size, perfect for dipping. Which one do I want? Let's go with the sweet chili mayo. That's a good fry. Crunchy, nice. And what I love about this is that it's on the go again. It's an on the go treat. You're walking back to the game. You could sit there, eat this, and be happy. These fries really hit the spot, but it's time to spice things up a little bit. So let's head over to Mike's Hot. Our last savory item on our tour is coming from Mike's Hot, and we have their hot honey garlic wings. For first glance, they're just a masterpiece, really. This is actually a Stadium Eats first. We have not had wings on any of our series, so I'm really excited that these are our very first ones, and they're not just your regular schmegular wings. No, 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 no. They're honey garlic wings. We got the naked wings here, coated with fried garlic. Smelling them, they smell like that uh, sweet chili sauce. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what they're gonna taste like. But they do, they look like they're sticky and delicious. So I'm gonna dip this in ranch and dive on in. Here goes nothing. Mmm, these are good. So they're sweet wings. I, I don't know what I was expecting. I thought they'd be a little bit more hot. I mean, the name hot is in the wings, you know? The garlic is definitely coming through. Just a, a hint of garlic and just really, really sweet. I don't know what I was expecting, but I like it. It's a sweeter wing option. I think I might have to just go back over there and get Mike's hot and take it home with me because that sauce is really one of a kind. I mean, I've had multiple dinners tonight, so that could only mean one thing. It's time for some dessert. And we're going out with a bang, you guys. Big gay ice cream, let's go. Okay, our very last stop is Big Gay Ice Cream and I got the American Globe. Thank you so much, this looks amazing. And she's smiling so I know it's gotta be good. Look at this, how crazy is this? Oh my gosh. Vanilla ice cream, dark chocolate pretzels crushed up on top of this. Then they take the whole entire cone and they dip it into chocolate dip, which creates this beautiful American Globs. Take a look at this masterpiece. She's beauty and she's grace. This is me in a dessert. Chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Look how thoughtful they are. They're like, you know, we're gonna give you so much on this cone, so we're gonna give you another cone to catch all your droppings. 
I don't know how to go into this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Holy hell, that's delicious. I'm a child. I'm literally a child. Look at the ground. Who eats this way? What a beautiful combination. I love that they use the dark chocolate on the pretzels, and the pretzels aren't the small pretzels. Those are big, chunky pretzels. So when you're going into the ice cream, you're getting big crunches of the salty pretzel covered in the dark chocolate mixed with that nice, creamy vanilla ice cream. It is so amazing and so delicious. I love this combination, it's so good. I love the salty and sweetness together. So I think it's genius that they put these big, thick pretzels in here. This can kind of get messy while watching the game. So if you want to eat and be a little bit more clean, you could always eat it with a spoon. Here we have one. I love things that have multiple layers of different textures. Again, the creaminess of the ice cream matched with the crunchiness of the pretzel, all dipped together with that hard chocolate. It's so delicious. It's so good. Hands down, if you are coming to MSG, this is the dessert that you want to get. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this, take it back to my seat, watch the game, because we're done with the tour. This has been one of the best food tours that I have done on Stadium Eats. All right, time to watch the game. Time to enjoy this dessert. Is that it? Ready me? We're out. Bye. What an incredible food experience I had at Madison Square Garden. Thank you so much to the team here. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys, let me know what other stadium you want me to visit. I feel like it's going to be really hard to top this one, but let me know where you want me to go next. I'm going to go home now, well, to my hotel at least, but I will not be running. I will be walking to the subway because we don't want a part two of what happened last night. We're lucky I didn't break anything. New York, I love you.